Goal disallowed at the Davin end. Point scored at the Hill 16 end. Well, here we are again, Marty. Just watch Tomas O'Connor. He's the important man to look. He stops his run right on the edge of the small rectangle. He's very clever about it. That's a perfectly legitimate goal. Nothing wrong with it. Not inside the small rectangle before the ball arrived. Dermot Malloy is coming on. And he has replaced Michael Hegerton. Kildare also introducing a substitute. Alan Smith is being introduced for Tomas O'Connor. Now we judge he's been unlucky that that goal was disallowed. Darrell Flynn battles hard for possession. John Doyle looks at options. Tori Gonia. Back to door. Under pressure. Callahan spills the possession. Comes to Carl Lacey. Rory Cavan. To Michael Murphy. Goes back into the centre. Mark McElhenney. Malloy slips. It's an inopportune moment for him. Just when he had gathered possession, comes back to Michael Murphy. David Walsh. Emmett Bolton. Defending well. Comes back, fires Rory Kavner. Over the far side, it's Ryan Bradley. Challenged by Corey Garnier. Referee says play off. That's a very good score. It took a lot of hard work from Ryan Bradley. But already we're beginning to have a lot more action in the second half in comparison to the first. Good well, refereeing by Coldrick as well, Kevin. Absolutely, and Bradley executes very well. But look at the break they've got with the goal, and they've really taken that break down, brought the game back to Kildare. It's only one point in it, no matter what way you analyse it or look at it. So, Johnny Gall had to say this system is doing well for us. We're one point in it. Wouldn't they just have loved to have been there during the week to say one point in it? with an amen of an All-Ireland semi-final. And that's where they are right now. Emmett Bolton scored a goal and two points against Meath. Total of 1-5 in the championship campaign for his manager and for his county. 43 and a half minutes played. Two defensive orientated teams have produced 11 points between them. Place in the All Ireland semi final at stake. Hard working Anthony Thompson. He's had a very good campaign, particularly in Ulster. Back there is Rory Kavner. Carl Lacey. Late challenge in Kavner. Takes himself off the ground as Tony Gore retained that possession. Ryan Bradley again. Lays it off as Malloy. Onto the left foot. That's a great score. Good play, Dunny Goal. And already we have a much, much better second half. Well, every break that was going in that last little phase of play went to Dunny Goal. They dropped it once or twice, got a hand to it, the ball broke back to Dunny Goal, man. And eventually Malloy, who made, made a difference, gets a great, great score, great equaliser. A level for the third time in this All-Ireland quarter-final. James Kavner, two players down injured in the Kildare half of the field. And it's Kildare that have possession. Here's a flat. Slices off the boots, well wide. Andrew McLaughlin from Ellistown. Captain of the under-21 team that uh, won Leinster back in 2004. Tight marking corner back. Can't quite see who that is, uh, to be honest with you, but uh, we'll inform you once we know. Frank McGlynn, have we been able to find him recently? 
Could well be him. I haven't seen him on the play for a while. I didn't see the collision either, but uh, 25, in fact. David Walsh. David Walsh, yeah. Is the player that uh, picked up an injury. Serious concern about uh, David Walsh. Former uh, professional soccer player, had a spell with Luton Town. Jim McGuinness would be concerned about uh, him because certainly Walsh has done well since uh, gaining first team selection at the very start of this match. Medical team there all around him, making sure that he can continue on. Nave Breedman from Ballantra, home club of, uh, of course, Matt Gallagher, won an All Ireland back in 1992. Well, there was a clash between McLaughlin, for sure, and David Walsh. David Walsh didn't uh, come out that well out of it. McLaughlin's a hardy ruse, and they're back together again for a little more action. Both of them fit in well, Andrew McLaughlin and David Walsh. Rob Kelly got a hand to it. And David Walsh immediately sweeping it up. This ball is in to McFadden. Morgan O'Flaherty starts the process. Down towards Eamon Callaghan. Backtracking Rory Cavan. Here comes the shot. It's curling left and right. Well, Kildare is supposed to be a second-half team. Certainly, they've done tremendously well in all second halves in this championship. And they were up at half-time, so the statisticians have said that we're there to win it. But this is very, very evenly poised, Marty. And your words are reflected in our statistics. Six out of 16 in terms of scoring chances for both. Robert Kelly. Effort is going over the bar. Kildare stretch their lead to the minimum. It's tight, very tight. And Alan Smith rejoices. Paul Durkin with the kick out. Goes straight down the middle. Rory Kavanagh gets a touch, gathered by Ryan Bradley. There was a jersey pull, free for the Ulster champions. Mark McHugh, Kevin Cassidy. Back to McHugh again, Johnny Doyle chasing. Easily picked up by Tori O'Neill. Good defending by Kildare, putting the pressure. McLaughlin. Flaherty, unable to control it, comes back to Ryan Bradley, chance for Kevin Cassidy, the umpire is going for his flag, All-Star 06 can afford a smile, patient build-up by the Ulster champions, and a fine effort at the very end. It certainly was. Hugh McGrillan. Sides level in front Park for the fourth time. Rory Kavner. Eamon McGee under pressure. Good interception. Eamon Callahan. Into the space for Kavanaugh to run on to. Carl Lacey will go back together. Feeds his keeper, Paul Durkin. Neil McGee. 
and McGee again. Torrey O'Neill turning in the challenge. Full back. Goes for the long ball. Up towards Michael Murphy. Michael Foley gets a touch. It's enough to uh, get the ball back to his goalkeeper. Torrey O'Neill. Over this side, it's Eamon Callagher. Johnny Doyle. Needs a little bit of support and help. Alan Smith is there. So too is Anthony Thompson. Good defending Donegal again. David Walsh. McFadden or Murphy is the choice. Hit it too powerfully. Bypass both. Morgan O'Flaherty. Over this side, it's Hugh McGrilla. Rob Kelly is inside. Named at top of the right, but he's operating as an extra half-back come midfielder. This is Alan Smith. Great defending again by the fullback, Neil McGee. Carl Lacey. Large support for dummy goal in the crowd of 39,612. And they're getting behind their Ulster Championship winning team. Lacey, back to keeper Durkin. Booms it high and long towards Mark McHugh. And high and long doesn't suit Mark McHugh. Not when you have six foot five, Darryl Flynn there. Emmett Bolton. Morgan O'Flaherty comes from centre half back. Almost getting the calls wrong. Carl Lacey is back there as the third defender. Ryan Bradley, one of the scorers in the first half. And again, you have to compliment the defender, this time by Morgan O'Flaherty. Brilliant, brilliant tackling, absolutely. Emmett Bolton lays it off as Torrey O'Neill. Going for it from just inside the Donegal 45. Ball sails wide. Wrong choice on this occasion by Torrey O'Neill. Well, it's very unlikely that either team will wilt. I would suggest, Marty, that they're excellently well-conditioned, very fit, and they will be well able to go through whatever 70-plus. Mark McHugh seems to have uh, picked up a yellow card there. It's the first yellow card of the day. Not too sure why he got that yellow card, to be honest, but uh, we just spotted it there by the referee. Kick out comes straight to Tori Gonil. Darrell Flynn releases it quickly. Here's Brian Flanagan. Johnny Doyle. Tori Gonil. Capable of scoring from there, but he spots Kelly is inside. Back to O'Neill. And again, good defending by him and McGee because just got the hand in to deflect the ball away from the intended target. Well picked up by Mark Buckelhead. Kevin Cassidy will slow matters down till the reinforcements arrive. Dermot Malloy has already scored once. Shane Connolly gathered it behind the end lines, and that's going to be a kick out for Kildare. Five points to three at the break, seven points each after almost 55 minutes. Yeah, their average concessions, you know, are nine points and 11 points respectively, so we couldn't really have expected a whole lot more, but it's, it has the interest is in how delicately it's balanced. Every ball is savagely hard won, and if you bring it into the tackle, you're going to be gobbled up. Ryan Bradley sends it down towards Michael Murphy. Holding off the challenge of Michael Foley. Rory Kavner to 27 outside. Comes instead to Malloy. Eamon McGee. Rory Kavner. Retaining possession. Number one rule. Ryan Bradley. Getting frustrated. Pushing 
his marker away. Here's a chance for Malone, and that ball is gone wide. Six wides for Donegal in a game dominated by defences. Yeah, Malloy for sure.